Hello and Assalamu alaikum Metaverse Millionaires. In our previous video, we have discussed permissions for our different roles in our Discord server. This is the continuation video regarding permissions on voice channels. So let's continue. So the number one permission we need to check is connect. This will allow members to join voice channels and hear others. So obviously this is an important permission to give to your broader community, to give to your all members. So turn it on. A second permission on voice channel permissions is speak. The difference between connect and speak is connect is connecting members to voice channels and speak is members can talk in voice channels and if this permission is disabled they can listen to other members but can't speak unless someone unmutes them so you can turn these permissions on and off according to your server requirements third permission is video Video permission is for streaming, sharing videos or screen recording etc. Just allow higher rank or leader kind of members or moderators etc. for this permission. Now comes voice, use voice activity permission. This is for allowing members to talk in voice channels otherwise members have to use push to talk. This is also not important to turn on for everyone but it depends on your server requirement actually so you can turn it on or off according to your requirements i'm turning it off now comes priority speaker look if you have a server where everybody can talk and you have a voice center talk center speak centered server then carefully assign this permission to members because this will allow members to be more easily heard in voice channels. If this permission is activated, the volume of others without this permission will be automatically lowered, will be automatically suppressed. Only those members can raise or can make their voices higher who have that permission so you can play around with this permission and ideally you can turn it off i'm turning it off mute members it's for moderators because they can mute members in voice channel deafen members again it's a moderators only permission because it's for disabling members to speak in here the other permission is move members it allows members to move members to other voice channels. No need to give this permission to everyone. Give this permission to only admins or mods because they can move members to the right channels and things like that. Now let's talk about stage channel permissions. The number one permission you need to assign is request to speak. What is it? It's a permission for a role to request to speak. During a live stage event, in live stages you have an audience and you have people that are talking. And if someone from audience want to talk, they can raise their hand if that permission is enabled for them. It's important only if you set your stage channels, then you need to turn this permission on. The other permission is manage events. This allows members to create, edit, cancel events, etc. So only for moderators, admins, and owners request to speak i'm turning it off i'm turning manage events off now let's talk about one of the most important permission that will give full access to the entire server only give this permission to yourself only or if you have some co-owner with your server this is the most dangerous permission the person with this permission can get access to your entire server including all private channels so keep this permission off i hope this video has given you enough insights into discord permissions for different roles if you still have questions feel free to ask in the comments below
and if you like this video then smash the thumbs up button so that this video can reach to more and more people bye bye see you in the next video till then allah hafiz